And tonight, a five on your side exclusive. Just 10 hours after filing the motion to remove Kim Gardner from office in Jefferson City, Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey joins us now live in studio. Mr. Attorney General, thank you very much for being here. This is a pretty high bar. You may think that Kim Gardner is disorganized. You may think she isn't aggressive, aggressive enough, but you have to prove willful neglect. That is a high bar. It is, and thankfully this rarely occurs, and it has rarely occurred in the history of the state of Missouri, but that speaks to what a bad situation we have here in the city of St. Louis and the necessity for immediate action to restore law and order and to find justice for victims, and that's what motivates me. You filed this in the St. Louis Circuit Court, which is the court where Gardner prosecutes cases and her staff. Will all of the judges have to maybe recuse themselves possibly because they work with her and they have for the last and, six and years? And they actually have tonight. They have rec recused themselves. And I think that's the right answer. Those judges have recused themselves because they're likely witnesses at a subsequent trial. Those witnesses that are on the bench here in the 22nd Judicial Circuit will likely testify to some of the behaviors that constitute willful neglect. And that's the evidence we're going to use to put an end to this and to ensure that law and order is restored to the city of St. Louis. So who's the judge? What happens next then? My understanding is that the Supreme Court will appoint a judge and that they'll select somebody who can come in and hear the case and there will be a brief period of discovery where we will gather all the evidence. We'll have to turn that evidence over to Circuit Attorney Gardner and she'll have her day in court and we will as well. And we believe we have enough evidence to prove willful neglect. Uh, let me play devil's advocate because Kim Gardner didn't just win her election, she got 74% of the vote. You, on the other hand, were appointed by the governor. So are you saying you know better than the voters? That's and not, isn't that a slippery slope? Yeah, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that at this point in time, Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner is willfully neglectful and violating the statute and her statutory obligation to discharge her duties in office. And that the people's elected representatives have enacted statutes that authorize the state of Missouri to use a check and balance to remove her from office. And that's what I intend to do. So if you are successful in removing her from office, Governor Parson will handpick her successor. Is it an option, would you be open to, if it is an option, you working with local officials, Secretary of State Ashcroft, and the governor to organize a special election because her supporters are crying voter suppression. And then the voters can pick her successor. And in the meantime, the governor can pick an interim prosecutor. Would that be possible? Well, that process will be guided by statute and by the governor's office, and the governor's already committed to working with local officials on that. So this is not about undermining the will of the voters. I'm looking to protect the voters that are being victimized by her refusal to discharge her moral, ethical, and legal obligations. All right, so what's the timeline here? When do you expect that the Supreme Court would name a judge, and then how long will it take for the hearings to begin? And even the appeals, because you I would imagine Kim Gardner will appeal whatever uh, decision if it comes down against her. I'm hopeful that the court will appoint a special judge to hear this matter, maybe even tomorrow, uh, hopefully no later well, than... Well, that soon. I, I would hope so. Look, we're trying to expedite this process because the people of the city of St. Louis deserve clarity and deserve law and order. And so this process needs to move as expeditiously as it can within the confines of due diligence and due process to, to get a resolution for the people of the city. And will she stay in the job as this process goes on? We're going to request immediate removal and it'll be up to a judge to determine whether to sign that order or to keep her in office while we adjudicate the, the, uh, the motion. All right, Andrew Bailey, the Missouri Attorney General, thank you so much for your time tonight and for joining us. Thank you for having me. Five on Your Side also extended an invitation to Kim Gardner for her own live interview tonight. We did not hear back from her office. Tonight, the St. Louis Police Officers Association is thanking Attorney General Andrew Bailey for, quote, having the courage to stand up to Kim Gardner and finally taking her to task for years of incompetence. The statement goes on to say, unfortunately, Janae Edmondson isn't the first victim who has been affected by Kim Gardner's failures as circuit attorney, but hopefully she will be the last. We caught up with one of Kim Gardner's supporters today. Reverend Daryl Gray is an activist for racial justice. He admits Gardner has made some mistakes, but she is not fully to blame. It was COVID uh, that caused a bottleneck in the criminal justice system with the circuit courts, with the police, with the circuit attorney. But where does the blame lie? Where does the fault lie? We've got a criminal justice system that needs to be revisited, that needs to be overhauled, that needs to be strengthened. Reverend Gray says he hopes Gardner and Attorney General Bailey can sit down together and work on solutions. New tonight.